Today we will be taking some of these rocks and putting them into the vibratory tumbler. These have gone through stage one in the rotary tumbler just to get them all nice and smooth. Look at this guy. Oh, I can't wait to tumble that. It's got a little bit of a hole there, but it's okay. I can clean that out pretty easy. So yeah, these are all good to go, ready for stage two. And they're going to go in the vibratory a little at a time. I have a couple of containers full of these. So uh, I'm going to pick out the best of the best from the top anyways. A nice piece of jasper. Beautiful. So I have a double barrel lotto tumbler. When you put the rocks in, you can use these things here. They're for uh, canning goods. So you put that on top and you put your rocks in. But before I do that, I have to uh, fill the containers with water. Ready, now we start putting the rocks in. And to show you how far, about up to this line here, that's when it starts to curve around here. So right up to there, fill the rocks up to there, approximately. So, can't forget about this guy. I'll throw in some big ones. This is crazy lace agate that I've been tumbling for just I don't know how long now. I thought this was all done. <laughs> There's still a piece of hanging around. So the next step is to add our media. This is mostly ceramic media of different sizes. These guys here, I've been using these for a long time. They're the glass marbles that you put in. Not marbles, but uh, glass beads that you put in with your um, propane heaters you know little fire pits that run by propane you can put these in there with your charcoal so they uh they work quite nice so i wanted to try them out and uh yeah i just keep using them and you can use this through your whole tumbling process the same batch you just rinse them off and they're and they're good to go so you don't have to worry about keeping a separate batch of ceramic media for any of your uh tumbles that goes with rotary stuff too so what you do now filler to the top so what we have to do now is drain the water out of this and if you have a, uh, a strainer or a plug for your um, sink put that in there otherwise I've got this little basket strainer here that I can pour just in case uh, so some uh, rock little rocks or ceramic media fall out then you just cup your fingers over here and turn it upside down and drain the water out. You want to make sure there's no standing water in your tumbler. Okay, now put the barrels in our tumbler. And then we plug it in. So after we plug it in, I have to add two tablespoons of grit. It's the 220 grit. And I add two tablespoons for each tumbler. Penny made that little strap for me. It's just elastic band, but you can use just rubber bands if you like. There's a couple of rubber nipples at the bottom. 
you can just hook it onto. So you let this go for about two days and you check it maybe two or three times a day just to make sure uh, it's running properly. If it's running s slow and looks thick, just add a few squirts of water and keep just keep checking it. Okay, so now we're at the end of stage two for the Lord Tone Vibratory. Um, there was something I didn't show you guys for the end of stage one. At the end of stage one, before you do your uh, next batch, you have to do a clean out and then a burnish. So what you do is you get some dish soap. And then you add a little bit of water until the rocks start stop tumbling. Okay, so you let that go, let that go for about an hour, and then we'll uh, show you the next step. So all this does is um, just helps clean your rocks to get them ready for the next stage. Okay, it's been just over an hour. We're going to uh, unplug her and bring it over to the sink and clean them out. So I'm going to put these in a bucket of water right away so they don't uh, dry on me. Look at that. Beautiful Lake Superior Agate. Just get some PVC. Uh, these are... Uh, I've had... I made these into drums, put a drum head on it and, the, and all the hardware and they sounded pretty cool, but I'm not using them right now. And uh, so all you need is some PVC, about four inches, five inches. I think this is a five inch. So your barrel will sit nice and upright because there's a little thing on the bottom here that um, you won't be able to stand it up. So you have it sitting in something. And then while I'm doing other stuff, I have this filled with water and then I'll have to clean it out before I put the next uh, stage in. So now we're going to do this barrel here. I have a double barrel lotto tumbler. Um, take this off, just top her up with water, and then pour it in the strainer. So I'm also using a five gallon pail, and then I have a, another strainer underneath, which is nice and wide, so it won't fall in. And then I have another strainer for the uh, smaller rocks or the ceramic media that goes through and then we pour our rocks in here and the reason why is you don't want to get any grit down your sink this stuff will harden like cement and will uh, clog your drain and cost you lots of money So do you recognize this? That is one of the Crowley Ridge agates I got from Will Bond, the Cajun Rockhound. Yeah, they're going to come out pretty cool. So I'm going to get these in a bucket of water right now. So now these rocks will go back into the barrels to be tumbled for the next stage. Um, before I do that, I want to make sure that my barrels and the lids are clean. 
and um, then we'll be good to go. There's our trusty canning funnels. Like to put the biggest rocks in first. All kinds of ceramic beads, large, small. Um, you can use them through every stage. Just rinse them off with the rocks. It should be fine. Shake them down a bit. And we'll leave that there while I fill the other one. Now I'm going to empty the barrel into the uh, strainer here. You just have the strainer so nothing you don't lose anything and you just keep your hand over the bottom. Let the water pour out. See I'm losing a few of the pieces. this on the tumbler while I get the other one ready. Okay, so now we're going to burnish. I'm going to plug it in. We're going to add some borax and some water. So one tablespoon of borax and then uh, some water. Pour in your water until the uh, rocks start to slow down. Up there. So now you let that go for an hour. And what that's going to do, the borax is going to make sure the rocks are nice and clean, make sure all the grit's out of places, and uh, get them nice and ready for the next stage. All right, the burnishing is done. Yeah, everything's looking good. Okay, now, so now that they're pretty much rinsed, I can just put them under the tap and give them a quick rinse just for, uh, just rinse them a little bit more, a little bit better. Okay, so now these will go back in the tumbler. So give them a quick check. Make sure everything's fine. No cracks or new holes or... Any fractures? Everything's looking pretty good. Yeah, that won't come out. Whatever it is. It could be just part of the rock. That's the beauty I'm waiting for. Isn't that gorgeous? Ugh. Suck a barrel. Dry your cap off too, because that's excess water. So now we're going to add a half a teaspoon of 1200 grit aluminum oxide polish and one tablespoon of borax.
they let that go for two days. Okay, we're two days later. We were at the end of our 1200 grit stage. So we're gonna add a little bit of dish soap. Let that go for about a half an hour. Okay, here we are a half hour later. We're gonna unplug it and we'll bring them over to the sink. Okay, now I'm gonna top up the uh, barrels with water and then pour them one by one in here. <clears throat> like dry this is the 1200 stage wow it's looking pretty good really good so what I'm gonna do now is rinse these off again put them back in the barrel and do a burnish okay they're all rinsed off have a quick look at them before I put them in just to make sure there's no major cracks or anything wrong with them. So I'm going to go through everything, make sure everything's okay, and then uh, I'll grab the next barrel. So yeah, you could, you could stop right here if you really wanted to. With the 1200 polish after a burnish it'll probably look a little bit better also and then uh yeah but i'm going one more stage i'm going to do one tablespoon of borax We slowly add water until the rocks stop turning. Okay, we'll let that go for one hour. Okay, here we are one hour later. I'm gonna uh, unplug it and we'll uh, rinse them off. I'm going to put these back in the tumbler and then I'll take care of the second barrel. Oh, there's my favorite. Wow. Beautiful. One, one stage to go. Final polish. Amethyst is looking good. So for my last stage, I use titanium dioxide polish. It's about 12,000 to 14,000 grit. So we do a half a teaspoon of this, half a teaspoon of the titanium dioxide polish, and one teaspoon of borax. We will see you in two days. Okay, we are two days later. 
gonna do a final clean out. So we're gonna put some soap in the barrels. We're gonna let that go for about a half an hour. Okay, it's been a half an hour. Now we're gonna take them over to the sink and rinse them off. And we'll add one tablespoon of borax to each barrel and let it go for another hour. Okay, one hour and they will be done. We'll give them a final rinse in the sink when, the, when we're done and then let them dry and we'll have a look at them. It is time. We are done. Now over to the sink for final rinse. So once everything's rinsed off, I'll put everything out on a towel and let it dry and then we'll have a nice look at it. Well, they're pretty much dry now. You know, pretty nice. That's a beautiful polish. Wow. Very happy with this. Ah, the Crowley Ridge Agates. We'll do a recap at the end of the video and I will take some pictures for you. So I hope you learned something today on uh, tumbling with the vibratory tumbler. I learned a few things, always do. If you like my content, please hit like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Lots more cool uh, polishing videos, cutting rocks, tumbling, rock counting, all kinds of fun stuff. So keep watching, share, tell your friends. Go and look for some rocks for yourself. You never know what you might find. This thing is too noisy. I'm also into uh, making things now out of rock. With the uh, tile saw and the vibratory tumbler. So we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye.